तारुफानी असलम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एजुकेशनल टिप्स कैसे हैं आप सब उम्मीद करती हूँ आप सब बच्चे बिल्कुल ठीक होंगे तो बच्चों आज मैं आप साथ शेयर करने जा रही हूँ यूनिट नंबर थ्री रॉक्स द रॉक साइकिल एंड सॉइल का इसका लेसन थ्री पॉइंट टू सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स एंड फॉसल्स आज बेसिकली हम लोग सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स के बारे में डिस्कस करने लगे हैं सेंस लास्ट टाइम हम लोगों ने इग्निशियस रॉक के बारे में और एक्सिव रॉक के बारे में डिस्कस किया था इसी तरह से आज हम लोग सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स के बारे में डिस्कस करेंगे तो फोकस के ऊपर आ जाइए तो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन है जी मेरे पास अंडरलाइन एंड हाई लाइट द करेक्ट आल्टरनेट इन दीज सेंटेंसेस अबाउट सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स पार्ट नंबर एक के अंदर आ जाते हैं हीट एंड आइस ब्रेक अप रॉक्स इन सब इन अ प्रोसेस कॉल यानी कि जब हमारे पास हीट या आइस की वजह से वन द रॉक ब्रेक ड्यू टू द रीजन ऑफ हीट एंड आइस वट इज दिस प्रोसेस कॉल दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज वेदरिंग अ रिवर इरोड्स ऑफ वेदर द बॉटम एंड साइड ऑफ इट्स वैली इरोड्स Now the part we see is the river deposits yeah, or transport sediments on the seabed. Deposit sediments on the seabed. Uh, layers of sediment build up uh, on a seabed in a process called sedimentation. Over time, the bottom layer of sediment become rock. Sediments uh, in sandstone are more coarse grained than in shale. And the la and the second last is limestone is formed of cr crushed. Sea shell. Fossils are only found in sedimentary rocks. Okay. Now part number two. Hey, Jee, my pass. Practice question number two. We are going to do part number A. How do you know that the rock in this picture is sedimentary rock? Look at this picture. And how do you know that this picture is a picture of sedimentary rock because it has no crystal line structure? Part number B. How could you decide whether this is limestone or shale? If it is shale, it could scratch. It make a mark. But As you know here, there is no mark. Part number C. How did this rock form? Layer of sediment built up on the sea and lake bed, or lake bed, the bottom layer turned to rock. Does this picture of a fossil show a mold or a cast a mold? Um, this picture shows a mold. Describe how the fossil formed. The leaf made an imprint in sediment, and thus this fossil is. form now uh, on challenge come to the challenge the read the web page the west coast fossil park today there are few plants and animal along the uh, southwest coast of south africa because of the lack of water it means they are saying that today if we visit um, southwest there is very few plants and animal why there are very less number of plant and animal this is because in south africa there is lack of water For forty years, there was a phosphate mine here. Miners kept finding strange fossilized bones. The museum could not identify the bones as belonging to any animals that live today. It means that they are saying that um, if we talk about forty years in past, uh, we saw that there are many um, mineralized bone, fossilized bone. and uh, they are kept in the museum but uh, we can't identify that either that bones are of uh, bones of animals or of which kind of animal eventually the mine was closed and the area is now national heritage site and open air museum that means that that mining is now today that mining is closed and that area is named as national heritage site and open air museum okay yeah. Scientists found fossils of more than 200 different animals, all dating back to 5 million years ago. When a river flowed through the area to the sea, the climate was hot and with the big trees, ferns, and plants. Scientists have found fossils in huge bears, three-toed horses, different species of elephant, and many short-necked griffey. All these elements are extinct now. Extinct means they are not in large amount today. it is their endangered species they think uh, that some of the these animals tried to cross tried to cross a flo flooded river and were, were all drowned the fast flowing river washed them down them downstream where they finally came to rest or uh, uh, to rest on some rocks as uh, their bodies rotted in the sun Hinds and vultures feasted until only the bones were there were left there. When the flood water subsided, a water hole remained and became a popular place for all the animals in the area. 
The sea level rose and uh, flooded the valley once again, submerging uh, the rocks and pools in salt water. Another layer of sediments uh, were, was added. This time, the sediments were phosphate rich salt. For the next time, 5 million years in uh, this collection of bones lay undisturbed, making the change from bone to stone. Now, question number 4 is, part number A, how old are the fossils in the West Coast Fossil Park 5 million years ago? How were the bones of animals turned into stone? Notice the water gradually replaced the bones of the animal. How uh, do scientists know that the fossilized animals are now extinct? Nobody has ever seen any of the animals alive. How is it possible for scientists to describe the climate, animal and plant life that existed 5 million years ago in the area? The fossils they found were of animals such as plants and griffles. They need water and trees and lots of vegetables. Look at this answer. What type of sedimentary rock were the fossil found in? Phosphate rich sandstone. Okay. So this is the lecture. Also you like the lecture. If you like the lecture, please tell me in the comment box. Uh, we will meet you inshallah in the next video. Allah Hafiz.